Hey everyone! Today I'm going to introduce you to a new feature of OpenShift Cluster Manager, Insights for OpenShift. Red Hat Insights has been around for more than four years, and for Red Hat Enterprise Linux customers, it practically identifies potential issues and also re offers remediation steps. Today we're expanding this and offering this functionality to OpenShift 4 customers as well. The Insights extension is part of OpenShift Cluster Manager that you will find on cloudsred.com where you log in with your standard Red Hat Access Portal credentials. After logging to OpenShift Cluster Manager, you will see the list of clusters that you ever installed or subscribed. As you probably know, OpenShift Cluster Manager is, to is used to provision new clusters, but also to review subscriptions do a basic management of clusters, including updates, and you will also have an overview of all your installed clusters. I'm going to search for my cluster, and the first one is a cluster that I installed a couple days ago. It's a cluster running on the AWS. It's uh, one of the recent OpenShift versions. And the new feature that is just added to OpenShift Cluster Manager is this new Insights tab. In this case, the Insights is telling me that there is one potential issue identified. But this is a testing issue. And it's only telling you what kind of notifications you'll be getting here once a potential problem is identified by Insights. So let's look at a cluster that actually has some insights problem identified. And for that I have this demo cluster here. I really hope that you will never have a cluster this broken. This cluster has seven potential issues identified. And as you can see, these issues have different severity. And also the health checks identified or performed by insights are spread into different categories. So let's look at the important ones first. The important health checks are something you should pay special attention to, as they often may result in degraded or failing clustering. For our first issue here, a wrong configuration of secure context constraints actually prevent this cluster from being upgraded. Let's look at the details here. And here are all the information that you can find. If you wish to see even more details, you can always go to Red Hat Access Portal and review the associated knowledge base article. But I'm actually curious about the remediation steps. And in this case, it's actually fairly easy. The OpenShift support team has verified that force upgrading this cluster to this version will actually solve the problem for you. All right, that's easy, and I can run this command and guess this is too fixed. Well, let's look at some other issues identified by insights. What else do I have here? I actually have some moderate issues that I should pay attention to as well. Why is this OCP node potentially behaving unexpectedly? Oh, apparently there are minimum requirements that my node is not needed. Let's look at the details. So in this case, I'm presented with this very node that doesn't have the requested amount of CPUs. Well, I guess the remediation steps are here, here. just get the CPUs up. So this one was easy, but it's basically showing me that I did something wrong when installing the cluster, and this node might not behave as expected. The Insights extension allows me to filter issues by different categories as well. I can look at the security issues, and there's one related to authentication of code. Again, I can look at very details of this. In this case, a cluster-wide proxy seconds might actually break the authentication network. Something to pay attention to. I can clear the filters here, 
and search for issues that are related to cluster upgrades. All these health checks are continuously added by Red Hat support engineers and verified by Red Hat product engineers working on it. I hope you will find this new feature help, helpful and hopefully this will help you to prevent some of the issues that your cluster might encounter. We would love to hear your feedback and thanks for watching.